<laughs> it's what happens when you go try feed the ducks. It's just like, learn, learn. Idiot. Hey, what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to Xbox On and I am joined by the legend that is Sean Bean for the release of Hitman 2 because you're the elusive target, Mark Faber. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, um, Mark Faber is an ex-MI5 um, agent. Uh, he's someone, he grew up, he had a strange childhood, he was a bit of a loner, he was interested in making things with chemicals and little bombs and stuff like that yeah. as a kid. Bit of a loner and uh, it did, he, he had to join MI5 because he got into trouble so they said look you're that, you're that clever that you either, we either charge you or you join us and work for us. <laughs> so he, he didn't have a choice yeah, yeah. and he wanted to do it anyway. It's and uh, yeah, and, he, uh, and, and then he made a big mistake and um, you know he thought, you know, really. So I've missed it. <laughs> I better uh, scarp it. And, and he decides to become freelance and a rogue kind of agent. I never expected to be like this. But they keep trying to kill me, you know? And MI6 won him and uh, they put a price on his head and he's quite enjoying that. And then it, it, that, that's his life. He, uh, he's kind of very precise, very meticulous about his assassinations. He, he's, he's very skillful. He's got a reputation for faking his own death over and over again. Yeah. And he just taunts the authorities. And... But just kind of find out a little bit, Mark Paper, and also your own choices. We've kind of got this, this kind of questionnaire and kind of how you would approach Target and whether you'd be successful or not. So the first thing, like upon arriving at a Target location, where would you generally head first as an assassin? Would you kind of go to a secluded area, heavily populated area, or just a random space? Um, I don't think I'd go to a random space, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you see a little spot over there, oh, there's a nice little bench over there, I'll go so Yeah, there. I'd, probably, I'd probably go over and pretend, pretend I'm on my mobile, in a, you know, near a bar or, a, you know... It's a nice, nice seclu secluded location. In the foyer, location. something like that, yeah, but slightly away. Okay. Near the lift. So. Right, so secluded location, and um, so if you're also confronted en route to your target, how would you escape detection? Would you turn violent? Would you use a distraction? Or, you know, just run away? I think use a distraction and kind of do something like that. Oh, but that's the assassin. Yeah. He might be a bit confused, you know. <laughs> just like fool yeah, everyone, so, just so. going like, I have no idea why I'm yeah, here. What, it's what okay. is it? Yeah. Um, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> then the third one, all right, which word best describes your elimination style? Would you go for subtle, aggressive, or theatrical? I think this character, Mark Faber, would be uh, definitely theatrical. No, nice theatrical The more theatrical, the better. Well, yeah, yeah, you saw that with the illusion. The showman, yeah. The video, yeah, yeah. it's just like, yeah. you know, got my headphones, yeah. got my He's pen. bored with kind of doing, you know, he's done it that many times the normal way, you know, for the conventional murder. That he's, he's just, he's, he's always constantly looking for something more and more theatrical and more sensational. So he's a showman, you know. Yeah, it's, it's too easy for him, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's and good. then the final one, right, is when your contract is complete, what is your preferred method of escape, right? Would it be calmly retracing your steps, head down, um, head down sprint, uh, sort of sprint out of there, or would you take a scenic tour of the area now the job is done? You know, just have a look around at the sites. Yeah, probably, yeah. So just, just calm down, calm down. There we go. But I mean, I think he's quite calm anyway, so he don't get very excited. I mean, he, he, he gets excited by the spectacle. Yeah. But he'd probably just have a nice walk, feed the dogs, you know. So. <laughs> Just go to the dad to go like, all oh, right, there we go, we've done it, we've just, we've got a yeah. porn cam, we've got time, we've got time. Agent 47 is not going to be a problem. All right, so I've got your results in. Now, if you could uh, do a dramatic reading as if it's oh, a right. mark favour, that'd be amazing. As a well-known recluse in the Hitman scene, Faber made haste towards a more secluded area of the show. Embracing the silence and space to contemplate his next moves, such as what he may choose for dinner, <laughs> or whether he left his garrote wire on the kitchen side. This is when he began to raise the suspicion of a certain individual. Using his extensive training and experience in the field, Faber knew exactly how to handle this situation. Before any alarms could be raised, the hitman channeled the ancient technique of, hey, look who's over there, briefly distracting the person before him long enough to disappear like a ghost in the night. Yeah, that's kind of what I did, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you kind of cool did it right? this fast. <laughs> Somebody been typing it out. Leaving the individual dazed, confused, and slightly upset that there wasn't really anything over there. Following his narrow escape, Faber finally locked eyes on the target passionate for the craft 
He felt the true sign of an assassin at the top of their game was to make a statement. By luring his target into an unguarded bathroom, Faber was able to execute a truly graceful hit, allowing his target to retain all their dignity following their demise. A true gentleman. Contract complete, Faber considered his escape. Seeing no real threat following a perfectly executed hit, the assassin took time to wander the lavish mansion, taking in the atmosphere of the show. However, his curiosity and arrogance, unfortunately, led him to wander off to an off-limits area, alerting security to his presence and intentions. Dispatched in a hail of gunfire, the agent was no more. Mission failed. <laughs> it's what happens when you go try feed the ducks. It's just like, learn, learn, Idiot. complete the assassination, <laughs> get out of there, don't go feed the ducks and wander around, no. just get taken out. Yeah. So, so that is what would happen to Mark Faber if Sean Bean kind of went through his decisions. Uh, remember, you can also play Hitman 1 uh, on Xbox Game Pass, but thank you very much. I'm so excited to play Hitman 2 and go up against, uh, go up against Mark Faber, see if I can like use Hitman 47 to yeah. take him out. How do you think I'd fare? I think pretty good, you seem like you're pretty handy on that. I, it, it, everyone else would kind of be disagree. I kind of just run around and Do I'm not very stealthy. It's my yeah, problem. That's it, what they all say. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> that's just like secretly going thing. But thank you very much, Sean. Really thank appreciate you. it. Uh, remember, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. And also smash that like button. Uh, and we'll see you next time. And thank you once again very much, the legend that is Sean Bean. Thanks thank very you. Much. Pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Bye.